everyone, it's 5.30 in the morning and I'm heading out to a car boot sale and I'm going to take you along with me. Close your eyes, hear the voice within Twenty past six, and I've arrived. Oh, I'm excited! Right, so that's the first car boot sale over. Um, I'm just heading off to the second one now. I've spent a fair bit, filled my trolley up, and now I'm off to see what I can get at another car boot sale. Right, well, I've been around the second car boot sale of the morning. Um, I didn't film anything here. It was really windy, I couldn't keep my hat on, I had to take it off. <laughs> but the back of the car is pretty full. The boot's got quite a lot in it, um, but I've got some money left and there's another car boot sale about 20 minutes away so I'm gonna head to that one and that will be my last one and then I'll be heading for home <laughs> I'm absolutely boiling and it's about 11 o'clock and I've just done my third car boot sale the back of the car is heaving now um, I've had a good time I've got lots of stuff I don't I think I feel really excited about I don't think I'll have to I can't remember half of it now <laughs> so I'm gonna head for home it'll take me a good hour I think from here 
um, unload the car, get a big cup of tea because I haven't had one yet today, <laughs> unload it all and then I'll give you a quick look at everything I've bought all in one big shot I think and um, yeah I'll start to look through it and work out what I can ask for it on eBay and Etsy. See you when I'm back at home. So I'm home, I've had a sit down, I've had a fuss with the kittens and a huge cup of tea and I have another huge cup of tea in there because tea is life. So I just thought I'd show you what I've bought. So I've got these two vintage linen napkins, this willow pattern design vintage linen tablecloth. I've got these hardboard school alphabet cards which would have been <clears throat> used in a classroom at some point. They're just um, attached to hardboard. They're all complete and they were a pound. Um, I think actually probably what I'll do is just tell you the total amount that I've spent because there's quite a lot to remember and I don't know if I'll remember all the prices. Got these two vintage 1960s light shades. I love this tray. <laughs> it's, um, it's a little tea tray. It's got some handles, a woven edge, a wicker edge, and then some dormice, I think, on toadstools. How cute! Um, bought this Le Creuset Volcanic. Um, skillet or griddle pan, it does need a bit of a clean up, I'll see what I can do with that but even in its current state it'll sell nicely for me. Got a pair of Dr Martins, they're patent, red, UK size 3, which is pretty small, they were a young girl's, she was very pleased when I bought them. Um, but they're in really good nick, they've hardly been worn at all. Um, so I'm quite pleased with those. I've got these size 7 Clark's leather shoes for £3 I think. I don't know. A set of stacking Marks and Spencer's mugs. A grandma and grandad vintage money box. <laughs> they both have, um, they're both money boxes, they both have the slit and they both have the, the bone. Got two Wittards of Chelsea storage canisters and a Wittards of Chelsea teapot. A nice big button phone for those who are short sighted. Got this, it's an oil lamp but it's been converted to electricity. Um, it needs a really good clean but it's a nice thing. And also this brass lamp that's meant to look I think like that's a candle um, once you've got a shade on it, I'm not sure. Got this brass wind surfer which I thought was a bit unusual, I haven't seen anything like that before. And this vintage camera. And behind here I've got two 
brand new in packaging, vintage Country Diary Collection round tablecloths. Never been used. I've got three of these little wool rugs. Um, they've not been used and they're all exactly the same. They're very sweet. Got a Virgin Media remote control. This pair of Clark's pumps, which are in a UK size 5. And these PF flyers, um, they're a bit battered, but she only wanted 50p for them. And I kind of think that battered look is quite nice. So we'll see how they do. Have an orange cutlery tray from the 1970s. A little letter rack, vintage one from the 60s probably. This is a boxed Polaroid camera in good condition. And this lovely little trivet. I just thought it was really pretty, really delicate, kind of engineered cutting on it. Really delicate pattern on it. So I've got this vintage porcelain clown. 680s melamine placemats. Some vintage metal weighing scales with cups and how much they weigh in ounces. I love that. <laughs> I've got six Pimpernel um, placemats. Not boxed. I would usually only buy Pimpernel placemats if they're boxed, but it's got a cat on it and I couldn't resist. Um, a little vintage enamel, uh, sorry, aluminium pan. A lot of this stuff needs a really good clean and that is fine. I'll be doing that. So a little Time Master vintage alarm clock with radio and a vintage lamp. Absolutely filthy, but it'd be very satisfying to clean that up. I got these two lovely quilted jewels jackets. Unfortunately, they're in a size 12, which is not my size, so I won't be wearing them, I'll be selling them. <laughs> I do like them though, they're very nice. Really lovely quality and they've got like a little rabbit and a fox button. They're so cute. This one has a hood. So I also got this barber jacket, which is even smaller, it's a size 8, so there's no chance of me getting in that, but it'll be a lovely thing to sell. And I think this is the end, I think this is everything. Finally this, again, needs a really good wash, vintage 1960s laundry basket. I also picked up this lovely little vintage alarm clock by West Clocks. It was in my handbag so I'd forgotten about it. <laughs> and funnily enough, um, I wound it up at the car boot to make sure it was working and then when I was part way home the alarm went off in the car. <laughs> and then I bought two things for us. Firstly, for me, is this All Achille bag. It's obviously come with a product, I don't know what the product is, but it's it's a drawstring bag and I really like it. So I'll use that as a project bag for knitting. And I picked us up a safety gate for our gradual introduction of the kittens to pebbles so that they'll be able to see each other but not get to each other. Um, obviously the kittens will be able to get through the gaps in that safety gate but we're going to cover it in cling film so they can't but they can still see each other. 
Right. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. It's about half past three in the afternoon now and I'm super tired. It's been a long day already and I've had a really good day. I'm very windswept. It's been re it was really windy out at the car boot sales and people's stalls were like blowing over and <laughs> clothes rails flying everywhere. Um, so I feel I feel blown about and like I've had a full day. <laughs> uh, but I just wanted to come back in on and save you a few figures. <sighs> but I just wanted to come on and give you a few figures for the day. So I was up at 5.30, out the door five minutes later. And I got home at 12.15. So it was six and three quarter hours to go round three car boot sales. I do have a little bit of a drive. I drove all together to get there, go around the three and come back. I drove 71.1 miles and um, all together actually I spent only £82.50. I thought I'd spent about 100 but I've been in my purse and counted up what I have left and um, I've actually spent 82.50. For the 82.50 I bought 40 items, um, so I'm, for example the two glass light shades that you saw right at the beginning, I've counted them as one because I'll sell them together. But 40 items for 82.50 and I've been doing lots of maths <laughs> and I've worked out that because obviously um, I do this as a business, I pay tax, I pay eBay fees, I pay PayPal fees, <laughs> I have the cost of the items themselves and the cost of my diesel to do that 71 miles. So I get very excited when I, when I add up what I think I can list each item for. It comes to quite a lot <laughs> in my mind. But then when I take off eBay fees, um, PayPal fees, all those things, put some money aside for tax, um, take back the, co the money that I've laid out to buy, so the cost of the items, because that's not part of my profit, that comes back, and the cost of the diesel. Um, what I hope to make in the way of profit from sales from all these items is £313.45 um, but just to show you that the life of a reseller isn't all gravy um, the amount that I expect to list all these items for is £739.50 so over half of that is taken by the cost of the items eBay fees, PayPal fees, tax, diesel, etc. But that is fine because I'll have taken £82.50 and turned it into £313.45 which is just magic and I enjoyed myself. <laughs> so hopefully these things will, um, once I've got them all listed, which is my next job, will just um, kind of dribble out of my shop over time and return me some profit. So thanks for coming along with me on my working Sunday. Uh, I just wanted to give you a look at the kind of things that I do for my job and my self-employment. And um, I will add that I love this line of work. I love going out to the car boots and charity shops and jumble sales and finding things to sell. Um, I love the fact that I can work at home and be available to my family while I do this and that I can be a present mum and still make a living. So thank you very much for coming along and watching me today. Um, I'm going to go and have a nap. I will see you all again really soon. You take care now. Bye for now.